Looks 50 already. How the conflict with the British royals affected Prince Harry. Welcome. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel before watching the video so you don't miss any of our latest content. Thank you for your support. A few years ago, he dared to speak out against the royal family and publicly criticized centuries-old traditions. As he himself has realized, this is quite exhausting. In 2020, Prince Harry's life changed dramatically. Not only did he decide to leave the palace walls, but he also declared a cold war on the British royals. He and his wife Meghan Markle chose to attack their family members from a distance, moving to another continent and settling in sunny California. Far away from strict protocols, they started a new life and transformed from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex into the main victims and opponents of the British monarchy. The couple decided to express their protest in various forms. They gave several interviews, released a film about their love story, wrote memoirs, and even received an award for their fight against racism. In recent years, Harry and Meghan have been the most anticipated guests at social events and have gained a huge number of fans. However, Harry had to pay a very high price for all of this. His sharp statements and revealing scandalous details about the lives of royal family members led to the deterioration and eventually the breakdown of his relationships with his relatives. At first, Prince Charles, the eldest son, seemed to be pleased with such a turn of events as the more heated his conflict with the monarchy became, the more popular he became. But the time in the limelight was short-lived, and in the past six months, the reputation of the Sussexes has been crumbling. They are less frequently invited to social events. Many famous friends have turned away. Former fans openly mock them and accuse them of excessive love for revelations. Harry, who was once the darling of millions, has recently become the object of ridicule and jokes. As experts note, since stepping down from royal duties, Prince Harry has regularly faced challenges which have been increasing in recent months. His image has been undermined due to his own memoirs, he has had issues with his U.S. visa, strained relationships with his father and older brother, and impending financial difficulties, all of which are causes of constant stress. Harry's legal battle against media conglomerate Associated Newspapers Limited, which he jointly accuses with other celebrities of invasion of privacy and defamation, is causing him no less distress. It was during the appearance of the 38-year-old Duke in court that people from his former circle noticed the changes that had occurred to him and sounded the alarm. Harry hasn't been seen in a long time, so his appearance was shocking. He looks more like 50 than 40 years old. He clearly looks worn out, exhausted, and depleted, expressed an anonymous source in an interview with New Idea. And indeed, Prince Harry emerged from the courtroom not as the cheerful jester he is accustomed to being seen as, but as somber and downcast. Close sources are convinced that the strong stress that Harry has been experiencing for a long time now is to blame, as he has pushed himself into this corner. He is currently at a crossroads and must make a choice, continue the confrontation with his family or seek reconciliation. Judging by everything, Harry's behavior on the day of Charles's coronation will be crucial in this situation. If the Duke refuses to attend the ceremony, he will have no chance of reuniting with his family. There is so much pressure on Harry, and it's only a matter of time before he breaks. His oldest friends are afraid that this will end badly, and there will be no one left by Harry's side to pick up the pieces, concludes the insider. The next piece of news is specially for you. When a son is worth his weight in gold, Charles III takes away his disgraced brother's residence to give it to William. After the scandalous story with Harry, the new king of Great Britain seems to be focusing all his efforts on maintaining a relationship with his elder son. For this, Charles is even willing to evict his own brother from his residence. The series of conflicts in the royal family is wearing down the monarch, who is clearly tired and angry with the behavior of his disobedient relatives. This time, the apple of discord became the $37 million estate where his majesty's brother, Andrew, resides. The scandalous prince was stripped of his royal duties due to a high-profile case of sexual assault, but he continues to live in the luxurious home in Windsor that he inherited. Now the king wants to make his relative move out. 
He has even handed Andrew the keys to Frogmore Cottage, from which Harry and Meghan Markle were evicted. By the way, the latter are gradually moving their belongings out after the coronation of Charles III. But the favorite of Elizabeth II is stubbornly holding on to his home and has even found a weighty reason to stay there. Andrew does not want to leave because the property is considered a symbol of the senior member of the royal family, an important asset in the family portfolio, said a royal source. It is speculated that the king may put pressure on him, as William, who represents the monarch's family in the public space, is interested in the residence. William is the heir to the throne, and he has his eyes on the property and its sources close to the royal family. Moreover, William's current home, Adelaide Cottage, which he shares with Kate and their three children, is reportedly too small for them. Rumor has it that the future king needs more space to set up an office there. The cottage they live in used to belong to people who worked for the royal family, like Peter Townsend, a British Royal Air Force officer who had a romance with Princess Margaret and described it as an icebox it's very cramped, noted royal commentator Joshua Rome. For William, it makes much more sense to have a home that reflects his new role, especially considering that Andrew is no longer a working member of the royal family and therefore does not need an office or a place to receive high-ranking officials. Meghan publicly rejects the invitation. Why is Prince Harry going to Charles III's coronation without his wife? It has been revealed that the younger son of the king will indeed be visiting London on May 6th. But why is he going without his Californian duchess? Buckingham Palace has officially announced Prince Harry's attendance at Charles III's coronation, indicating that he plans to attend the significant event for all of Britain without Meghan Markle. While internet users speculate on why the Duchess declined the invitation, fans of the royal family are convinced that Meghan is publicly rejecting the crown and making it clear that none of the past grievances have been forgotten. Furthermore, there is information that suggests that the palace has declined two requests from Meghan Markle, which many find unreasonable. Firstly, the Duchess of Sussex was willing to go to London only if she could stand on the balcony of Buckingham Palace alongside Kate Middleton and Prince William, which is not possible due to their official departure from senior members of the royal family status. Secondly, Meghan Markle's second request to the organizers of the coronation was to have her son Archie congratulated on his birthday. The elder son of Harry and Meghan will be celebrating his fourth birthday on May 6th. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. Your support means a lot to me. See you in the next video.